Okay, today I'm going to be putting a can of soda in my vacuum chamber, see if it explodes. So there's a few ways to get a soda can to explode. You can either heat it up, which increases the pressure inside, or you can decrease the pressure outside of the can and see if you can get it to explode that way. Surprisingly, shaking the can doesn't actually increase the pressure. I did a video on this on my other channel, my science channel, about why that's the case and why it seems like it does increase the pressure, but it actually doesn't. I'll put a link up there, you can check it out if you want. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. These soda cans are actually rated pretty high in terms of pressure, and the most you can decrease the pressure is one atmosphere, so around negative 14 psi. So that's the equivalent of increasing the pressure inside by plus one atmosphere, plus 14 psi. But I don't know if that's enough to make the can explode. So there's only one way to find out. Let's test it and see. All right, soda can in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, so it looks like it withstood the pressure test. So it looks like I'm gonna have to try it again. This time, I'm gonna heat it up under some hot water. So not, not really hot, but just warm it up and see if we can get it to explode. Okay, soda can in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Negative 0.2 atmospheres. Like it's bulging at the top a little. What negative point eight atmospheres? <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's open the chamber up and look at it. Okay, so it shot right out the top. Obviously, that's the weakest part where they have the seal for when you open it. It popped right out of there. <laughs> That's really suspenseful, waiting for a can of soda to explode. So in order to get it explode, it looks like I had to heat it up in warm water first and then it exploded. So if you took a cold can of soda up in space with you, it looks like it wouldn't explode. You'd be fine, they make these things pretty tough. But if you had a warm can of soda, it would explode. So what's interesting is that this soda is already completely flat because it was under the vacuum and so all of the CO2 released very quickly as soon as it exploded. So there's like no carbonation left. See, look, you can't even see any bubbles. All the CO2 got sucked out of it. Hey, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit subscribe if you haven't yet. And you can comment in the comments section with anything you'd like to see me put in my vacuum chamber or crush in my hydraulic press. And I'll see you next time.